How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. I was going to say it was on somewhere else, but it's on the channel. That is basically where all the reviews go. So if you want to see more from myself, more content like this, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it amongst your friends, and get involved in the conversation. Today, the release was, or is, or is, well, we've got like two, three silvers, basically. Uh, we've got a six foot six sensor back. Anna, giant of a man, and he is French, so he's got links within the French League as well. And uh, we got Cooper, I think from Millwall, so I've, I've got no idea about that card. I, I've done the SBC once, and this is the brand new flashback. Now, so far, we've had Paul Pogba, we've had Kevin De Bruyne, he was the first one. We've got Marco Royce now. I'm going to say it straight off the bat, boys, so you guys don't get this confused. The best value one so far. Possibly the best one so far as well. Paul Pogba had many weaknesses on his card, but still provided a presence in game. Kevin De Bruyne, pretty similar to Pogba in his weaknesses. Royce, he looks more well-balanced than his normal cards. I, I, I don't know about this guy. He just looks more well-balanced. He starts, which you will see literally on your screen right now, is so well-balanced, it's crazy. He's got 80s in nearly every single category that he needs to have good stats in. So we'll go through them in a second. He's 5'11", high medium work rates, and the four-star combo, predominantly right-footed. Now, you do see him in the position of right midfields. Personally, I'd move him centrally. Now, this could be personal preference for a Marco Royce on this game, or personal preference because I don't use any wide players right now. Would he work as right midfield? Yes, of course. Um... He's got a lot of things that would make him work in that position, right? Acceleration, sprint speed, very well balanced. Actually, really good. Uh, even for this stage of the game. Uh, crossing, 83. Decent. Uh, his short pass is good. His curve is good. And his vision is good. So he can definitely create from the wider areas. But also, from the central areas where I did play him today, I played him as a cam. Just behind two strikers. Now, 4-3, 1-2. Uh, Dribbling-wise, very, very competent. 85 agility, not too bad, not too great. Uh, 82 balance. That's decent. Good reactions, good ball control. Dribbling, if you use a maestro, gets plus 10 to 93. And composure, I believe it's been better than a lot of different silver cards we've seen so far. And that's at 82. So you look at this card and you think, where does the weaknesses come in? Obviously... Aggression, it's only 49, it's not that great. His strength is low as well, and his tackling is beyond mediocre. So if you expect him to be like a defensive winger, or even win the ball back in like basically the final thirds, um, well, basically your your opponent's defensive area. If you think he's gonna win the ball back, like basically defend from the front. I don't know what I'm saying, so I keep saying basically. He's not gonna do it, simple as peas. Although last time I did say that uh, in one of my videos, Someone wrote like an entire essay in the comments explaining how peas weren't simple. How do you guys get this information? Apparently they're really not simple as peas. But anyways, he's got a lot that could make this card very good in game. I tried him as a cam and he performed really well. I actually played six games because I'm not too sure right now, right? Because I played each and every single game in Rivals. For some reason, people's quitting at 0-0, 1-0, 1-1. What's going on right now, boys? It's, it feels like nobody wants to actually play the game. That's worrying, boys. That is actually quite worrying. Uh, Pace-wise, phenomenal. He's got good movement as well in the high-medium work rates, and he does get into some great positions. And once he's in that position, this lad can score. He's got great shot power, decent finishing, not amazing. Uh, long shots from distance. He was quite accurate, not too, too accurate. And um, as you will see by the player traits as well, he does have the finesse shots. So he's got a lot of things going for this card. Now, I wanted to see if he's worth the coins. Which, by the way, of course he is. He's 10 to 20,000 coins, which is a lot better than I think we've seen for Lange. Or was it Pogba? I know it was one of the Manchester United lads. Uh, for, between, like, was it 30 and 50,000 coins? Or 40 and 50,000 coins? That was a bit too excessive. Marco Royce. Bang on the money. Lads, let's get in the gameplay, see how he did for us. So here we go, lads, in to the gameplay. Now, a lot of you guys, uh, the younger amongst you out there, will only believe that Marco Royce probably played for one club. He's a one club man. Mm, the majority of his uh, career, anyways. Uh, Dortmund. Everyone associates him with Dortmund. Marco Royce is Mr. Dortmund right now. But he started off at Borussia Mönchengladbach, and this is when 
that card's based on? Well, this card's based on, it's an 0-9 to 10 season. So that is when he played for Borussia Mönchengladbach. And uh, you, you will see that in the description of the SBC as well. So it takes him back to his earlier days. I kind of like what they're doing with this promo in bringing like players back to the earlier days. And we've seen that with Neymar as well. Apart from Neymar, as like an 89 rated S or 87. It might be 87. I think it's 87. Marco Royce though, boys. Look at that finish. Left foot volley edge of the area. Look at this here. People were pressing start like every two seconds tonight. I, I don't know what it is. That, that guy actually got a red card as well in this match. He was 1-0 up as well. But uh, the last guy, I think he did rage quits. Now, the one thing I do want to see with Marco Royce is what he's like even with a basic. Because as you guys know, 74 rated. No, they're not. No, they're simply not. Basically, you just take that as it is, right? You just take that as no overall rating. That's not exactly what they are rated in game because their stats are beyond their rating. You know what I'm saying? So even a basic, which you do get him as he comes out the SBC with a basic chem style attack. Every card does have a chem style on FIFA 22 uh, on, and every FIFA so far. Um, it's an 87 right winger and midfielder and an 87 rated cam. Now the chem style used in him was Maestro. What does he go to with Maestro? An 88 rated cam. 74? My arse, mate. So, um, yeah, he performed really well there. You've seen all the highlights in the background as well. Very good dribbling wise. Dude, if you can finish like that, I mean, by all means, you play in that central role, you create, you score, you do everything. I was playing around Royce. It was just a breath of fresh air, to be honest. And something I haven't really seen from Marco Royce this year. I, I believe he's got one decent card. And it is... Is it UCL? I'm going to go back and have a look right now. It is the UCL. And this guy's quicker. This guy's quicker than the 89 rated UCL Cam Marco Royce. That Cam Marco Royce has 85 acceleration and 80 sprint speed. This 74 rated Marco Royce has 92 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. I want to see what the agility kind of is like as well. So dribbling on UCL is 89, the agility is 87. With this one being 83 and 85, um, it's not too, too far off. Plus 10 as well with the Maestro game style. It actually feels very quick on the ball, this one. So again, if you want to kind of compare and contrast, I would say this Marco Royce is fantastic on the ball. His dribbling's very good. Four-star combo to throw in there. You see the pros and cons down left-hand side. And you can see, I only found one kind of fault with him. I've put aggression, but it's more like aggression and power and strength. Because when he loses the ball, he's got no chance to win it back. It feels like that anyways. He's not got no upper body strength. He feels very, very weak. But he also feels very evasive. And I think this card is a good basically templates to use them in whatever position you want. Uh, I used them as a cam, so I stuck a maestro on them. You want to use them wider, Catalyst could do for you guys if you want to cross it in. You want to use them more centrally as a striker or something like that. I'll probably suggest a finisher. Marksman wouldn't do too much. It wouldn't boost your strength or aggression to an acceptable level. So, um, yeah. I think the world's your oyster with Mr. Marco Royce. Lads, let's get into the summary. So there we have it, lads. That was a Marco Royce Munching Gladback version. So, um, yeah, he was actually really, really good for me. Obviously, if you want to get him in your team, you're probably going to have to go Bundesliga, a German icon, for example, or, yeah, just like icons. But obviously, Bundesliga teams are very good in this game. You've got plenty of good Bundes uh, players. And what I tried tonight, this really did work, and I, I, like I did say, I'm going to show you the formation as well, because sometimes I can't get it across as well as I want to. So these were the tactics and stuff I used, and I just simply put Marco Royce in the camp position, as you can see right there. The instruction on him was stay forward getting into the box, because that's what's on every cam in this formation that I ever use. And he performed brilliantly there. Now I did say earlier on, uh, during the gameplay actually, or was it during the start? Not many people are finishing their games right now in Rivals, and I'm not too certain why that is, how it is, or anything like that. But a lot of people are just like, I've conceded, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Not many people are playing this game just to play FIFA anymore. They're playing it more just like results. And I think that's why, honestly, like, a lot, I'm not going to explain this correctly, so I do apologize in advance. A lot of people on this game, even myself in the past, I've been caught up with the competitive aspect of the game. Because uh, it's, it's, it's a preperception 
You can't have fun on FIFA. Simple as. People think, oh, just go for the win. Just go for the win. You can't have fun on a FIFA or a video game in football. I want to challenge that. I want to say you can. Fun is what you make it, right? The game is what you make it. You want to have fun? Try different players out. Try different tactics. I don't go a single day using the exact same tactics, the exact same team, the exact same players. Hell, I don't even go five games using the exact same team and players and stuff like that. It is what you make it. You play to have fun. I do anyways. If you play to win, hey, fair news, you do that. But the game can still be made fun, but it's down to you. FIFA's there for like a lot of different skill sets out there, right? Competitive, probably the less competitive, and I'm being nice there, for like squad battles and stuff like that, the lower end of squad battles that don't want to play online. And there's always like that, that, that argument that you hear on social media, Oh, this card is good, but it's not good enough, mate. It's not good enough to be in my team, foot champs, 20 games. Nah, nah, nah. But it's not going to fit in tournament teams. Who cares? Who genuinely cares? As long as you have fun, screw it, you have fun. And I see it all the time. It actually really annoys me, man. But um, we, we've slipped so far from the FIFA like 13, 14, 15 days where we could have fun on the game. Dude, I'm still having fun. There's some games where I don't have fun. It's not down to FIFA. It's not down to me. It's down to my opponent in that game. He's playing to win. He's playing possession. He's passing it around the defense. It is what it is. But when I want to have fun and I match another player that's having fun, dude, the games are electrifying. They're really responsive and they're good end-to-end -end games. And I've messaged many people this game where I've had like the 6-5 games or a great like end-to-end -end match. And I'm like, GG's, man. You actually made me enjoy the game there. And had fun. And they were the exact same. They enjoyed the game as well. Again, it's it's all down to user perception. Fun on the game, competitiveness on the game, and what you want to do. I want to have fun. These cards are fun. Simple as that. But um, yeah, I'm sorry for the little ramp boys, but sometimes I just I need to explain things. It's just the way I go and uh, it is what it is. And I just want to get out off my massive chest, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, in 3-2-1, Marco Royce, 8.7. I know what you're going to say straight away. Too high for a silver-rated player. He's not a silver-rated player. Technically, he's a 74. It's a silver. But he plays beyond that. You guys should know that by now. He plays way beyond a 74. Not Actually, any silver star this year, you go on a basic chem style, you see their rating... It's way above uh, a 74, and that's been the same ever since Silver Stars came around. I think the first one was Paulino from Leverkusen. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that was the first one, and it was way above the power of a 74 rated guard. And this one as well, and every one since then has been as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a really good card, and I think this could be used in main teams. There's a few cards so far that I believe can be used in main teams. Jolinton is one. Uh, as you can see him right there. This left back, Rico Henry, is insane. Definitely usable in many teams. Shirky, I've used this guy last night quite a bit since today as well. Very, very good. Four goals in three games. Five-star combo. Great attacker on this game. Pogba leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, Alanga, super sub. Great. Cyprian is utterly sensational in that position. And you've got the right back in there as well if you want to complete the trifecta of French players. Um, dude, they're very capable of beating a lot of gold teams and special cards in this game. I actually played foot champs last night with a full silver team apart from the two centre backs and the keeper. We smashed it. We won two on the bounce uh, each game. I actually record them exclusively for Facebook, guys, if you do want to see that. But yeah, just it is about having fun and what you perceive as fun. You can see the other ratings alongside it as well. Enjoyments, 9.0. Marco Royce in that camp position, personally where I preferred to play him was very good. Very, very good. Would he be good out wide as well? Would these like, start set, attribute layouts? The answer would be simply yes. Uh, the value for time... I've got time. Oh, I'm going to trigger you all, boys. I haven't edited it. Dude, I need to save one of my edits. So it just gets that time out of the way. But the value for coins. Not time. Not time. Uh, 10 out of 10. 10k minimum for this card. And you've got to keep in mind, a lot of people have fodder. Untradeable fodder. You could end up paying for this card for absolutely zilch, nada, nothing, zero. And you could just um, basically earn this card. Very, very fantastic SBC in my eyes. Uh, he's got two good traits there as well. Finesse shot if you utilize him from the left-hand side of the pitch. Or he's cutting in from the left-hand side using him at calm. Or the outside of foot shot 
if you use him on the right, and he's coming in from the right. Fantastic, boys. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and like I did say, a couple of people did quit the day. Six games, four goals, two assists. It's more like four games, four goals to assist. And that was in Rivals as well. Guys, that's going to be it. I'm sorry for going on a rant. Or even like a discussion. Dude, I'm not going to call them rants. I'm going to call them discussions, man. Um, it's just like talking to me, talking to you guys. And I, I, I like to talk sometimes. Right now, my, my head is crazy. It's like... Um, well, I'm, I'm getting seen from the doctors and stuff like that. It's like I've got this... It, it, I googled it, right? Like... It's like a cloudiness in my brain. It feels weird. I move to the right. My brain moves like 10 seconds later or two seconds later or a millisecond, but it feels forever and it makes me feel very dizzy, very lightheaded and very um, forgetful, basically. But um, yeah, I, I Googled it. It come up a uh, brain fog. I was like, Jesus Christ, mate. I've got weather. I have a weather system in my brain now, which is crazy, but obviously not. Um, yeah. That's where we're going to end it. I don't know why I went off on that tangent, boys. Just explaining why there's not as many uploads as you guys could possibly want or expect. So I do apologize for that. That's going to be it for tonight for Marco Royce. Dude, I went on a massive uh, tangent right there. Thank you very much for hopefully listening and seeing my reasoning behind the rating and uh, the discussion we had. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you had a great day today. We'll catch you all next time. <laughs>